you so so much for having me and you know thanks for just a, a wonderful um session you've had so far i was actually on the road and, and in a different meeting so i was listening on facebook so when you were actually calling my name i was like i am on but i'm not on, I'm on facebook because i'm driving and i was you know and, and, and all of that you know and to have you thank you so it's just you know again and i won't take too much of our time you know and just to highlight you know a, a few a few um points you know just you know we've been talking about you know all of this that happened you know um and i think that when we go so i'm going to just look at it from the labor market you know and i'm going to just dive right into it and just talk from the labor market you know to look at um how people within the labor market you know i, I think that that night or that day when we watched george floyd die you know and we heard him say you know i can't breathe i think that so many people within the labor market were saying that i can't breathe you know and so what does that mean you know for so many people how does that translate you know and what can we begin to do about it what active actions can we take you know um you know what active actions can we take when we look at you know the labor market i think that you know two things are conflated for me because you know we have the we have coronavirus, the COVID-19, and the impact that that has had on our economy. So even before all of these Black Lives Matter and all of this happened, I was already worrying um, that, oh my God, when we come out of COVID-19, we're going to go into some form of a, a recession, you know, a depression. We don't know how bad it's going to be. But, you know, since the economy is opening up again now and people are going back to work, um, hopefully, you know, it means that, you know, some people who are, who've been get on the register will go back in and start working again. But, you know, we've spent a lot of money as a, you know, nations. So there is a level of, um, you know, recession that we'll have to experience. And so my worry then was that we already had, you know, people of black in Ireland, we already had, you know, the, the lowest conversion into paid employment. So the issue is, if we then go into a depression or a recession, how is that going to impact? So it looked like if even any talk, any, any progression that we seem to have been having was going to just even be rolled back. And so right now, what, what all of this has done, both from COVID-19 and coming into all of this, you know, seeing the racism that was seen happening again, it has really begun to re-emphasize you know the you know those who are at the bottom of the labor market and the experiences you know that people have again before now we know that you know when you go back to our census statistics we keep talking about integration i mean one of the things that we hope you know to see is that people are integrated here in ireland but we know that there is absolutely no integration without jobs that if people are not working if people don't go to work if they are not if they don't have access to the labor market there is nothing we're talking about when we say integration if somebody cannot pay their bills or cannot you know um afford to to send their children to schools or you know to pay those fees you know all of those things are gone so there are different levels you know when after a while when we have the you know when we have air and we can breathe and all of those things then we begin to look at okay how can i actualize myself you know and so we see that so from again a lot of research that i have done but also from our census statistics we see that from 2016 census and you know it confirms what my research shows that people of black african descent you know they are at the bottom of the labor markets you know it shows that we have very good quality very good um, high level of education but what is happening is that our education does not translate into the labor market it does not translate into work so my research shows most people who are black in ireland many of them in fact from my research you know 46 percent of them were in unpaid work so they were either having to go back to school or um, being in unpaid work or internships or voluntary work or you know community development that was not converting you know into paid employment so we're trying to deal with so many things we're trying to deal with mental health you know sometimes when people invite me to come and do stuff for mental health I'm like, you know what? give these people jobs half of these mental health issues will be gone you know so again so we sometimes we're trying to deal with the problem you know from the from the top without you know without looking at the roots the foundation you know the the labor market is one area we really really need to focus on going out of this when we 